people stop being nice to each other? Like, when did people stop being kind? Hmm. I think it was within my generation. I think so too. <laughs> I like you fuckers. Because I remember my, like, because I'm, you know, a good decade older than you or whatever. Not quite, but I'm a lot older than you. People were nicer, you know? Mm. People were nicer when I was younger. And then we've recently, we have a friend, again, we remain nameless, that the stuff that has happened to this poor guy, it just breaks the heart. Like, mm. and you just wonder, what the fuck is wrong with people? Like, what is, couldn't feel that hair. <laughs> my like, what's, what the actual fuck is wrong with people? Yeah. Like, why would you, why, it, like, it, it literally breaks the heart. But anyway, that's not what we're talking about today. No. Oh, this is a show that we made for you, for your mom and your dad and your auntie Sue. So grab yourself a coffee, it's a crack pimp dawn, and strap yourself in for a hit good night. It's another Heaps Good Sunday morning, and yet again we're here to delight and entertain and inform. Yes, we are, and we've been pulling uh, episodes from Jars recently and trying to get all of our shit together. And um, and then last week we did it. Last week we didn't, but That's we're my on. Fault. We're on the ball this week, and we're, we're on the ball. We're, we're talking about Cuppy Cuppy Wubby Bloom Room, which if you're American and you watched movies like So I Married an Axe Murderer. Is that the one that it's in? Yeah, they refer to it as a colour vote. They're talking about a colour swatch, I think, and it's called... They're talking about a tea. They're giving tea options. Was it tea options? I thought it was a colour swatch. I, I just watched a little clip nah, the other option. day. and I, I did you Google it? Yeah, and then I realised I remember that clip, yeah. but obviously not No, they're about tea options. Like, we've got jasmine, we've got green tea, we've got cubby wobby womb room. Well, cubby wobby womb room was a uh, celestial seasonings, I think. It was a tea in the, you know, what, was, what would that have been, 93, 94, something like that? Yeah, about that, I guess. Um, when people started drinking tea again, my generation, you know, we got all hip to be square. <gasps> I just got that song. It's hip to be square. Like, I literally... That, <laughs> that moment just got the song. Ha! Huh. Anyway, um, so when it started be being cool to be alternative again, which I say it happened when I was, like, in high school, mm. um... I, I like to think we caused that, the people of my generation caused that, you know? Because we used to joke that um, in junior high, nobody wouldn't have anything to do with us. Like me and my friends, we were like total like pariahs and we wouldn't have anything to do with us. But then all of a sudden in high school, like when we started high school, people would be like, hey, are you going to so-and-so's party? And we'd be like, are you talking to us? <laughs> and be like, uh, and all of a sudden people wanted to like hang out with the fucking pierced, tattooed, color haired freaks and we're like yeah. oh, I don't understand what happened <laughs> but there was a big shift that summer before we started high school and we never really understood what happened it's like we didn't get the memo that suddenly people were going to want to start hanging out with us and it really threw us out like it threw us off hardcore but um that's when that's when tea drinking started its big kind of renaissance period when it started to become popular again and uh one of the teas was cubby wubby womb room yeah and essentially i think it was like a chamomile Probably a chamomile tea of yep. some kind, maybe a bit of mint and something. Essentially, it made you feel safe in sleepy times and whatever. So when we were talking about ideas for a show, everybody's got that pair of pajama pants. Yeah. Or yep. that fucking I don't wear pajamas, slanny. So. Um, yeah. Or something like that, that when they're just sick to death of everyone being so fucking awful to everyone in this world, they're like, I'm going to go home, I'm going to make me some Cubby Wubby Womb Room, I'm going to put on my fucking Pee Wee's Playhouse, because that's one of my things, and I'm going to wrap up in my great-grandmother's quilt. <laughs> great, 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 great grandmother's quilt, or however old it is, um, and I'm just going to forget that I'm an adult. And I'm just yep. going to be that nine-year-old on a sick day eating chicken noodle soup and just make myself feel better, because the world sucks and it's a scary place. Mm. So that's what Cubby Wubby Womb Room is all about. Yeah. Um, so that's what we're doing today. Sharing our little tips and hints and things like that. Because people are fucking awful. My god, when did people get so awful? The shit, just the shit in the past couple of weeks that I've heard has happened to other people. It kind of makes me feel not so much blessed because right now I'm doing it pretty fucking hard. <laughs> but um, just, yeah, just thankful that I'm not some other people. They yeah. are total fucking targets of assholes. But, and I'm drinking essentially melted ice cream. <laughs> you people that drink a lot of sugar and milk in your coffee, 
think you're under something. I'm not going to lie. I say, I don't, eat, I don't drink a lot of sugar in my coffee. I have one sugar. And mm. every now and then I actually, I run out of sugar and I have one without sugar. I'm like, this isn't actually too bad. Why Man, let me I... just, I'm sorry, I have to interrupt you. Guys, how fucking hot does Ziggy look today? <laughs> like... oh, yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't know if he's changed his foundation. He's got a different wax going on in his mustache. I, but I high, junior high Mercedes is fucking all over. Loving all over. <laughs> I mean, well, now, almost 40-year-old Mercedes is like, if I were 20 years younger, well, 25, <laughs> whatever. But yeah, junior high Mercedes is like, hello, older man. Well, now it's a process to go out, though. Because I have two products in my beard. Do ya? Does it smell good? I'm yeah, gonna smell it does. this beard. I'm going in. Oh, it does smell nice. It smells so good. I've got a balm and an oil in there, and then I have my wax, which I put in my moustache. Are you doing a shameless plug? Uh, it's not a shameless plug. It's not a shameless plug. It's not a shameless plug. But uh, this is my go out kit now. So every time I go out, I've got my beard comb. And my moustache comb, which is ridiculous, but um, did you order well. this online? Yeah, I did. That's a nice tortoise shell too. Yeah, and it's handmade, so it's handmade. Mm. Isn't it? Oh, he is doing a shameless. Plug. <laughs> I always thought about it. Is this from the same company? Um, it's not from the same company, but Woodsman. Woodsman. Oh, oh uh, yeah. It's not a shameless plug. I mean, <laughs> but for me, I it's got that... bits of. Oh, he's so typical. Yeah, so typical. it doesn't take long to get shit in there. What's that one? Uh, that's my moustache comb. <laughs> This fucking guy. <laughs> Meanwhile, I was putting eyeliner on with, like with a crayon today because my hand don't work. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so now I've got to take this out, particularly when I do um, the what they call the English moustache. Is uh, that that one? Um, similar. Except for it's yeah, you need a bit more length on the ends. You were saying a bit more uh, thickness on the ends to get yeah. it to work. Yeah. So that way I can actually twirl it better and keep. Otherwise, oh. within 15, 20 minutes, it, 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 it needs to be out. trained as well. Yeah. Mm. So I'm in the process of train, uh, training it at the moment. Could you imagine ladies if it got popular for us to start combing and twirling our pubes <laughs> instead of waxing them all off yeah don't do that don't do that don't um, what wax them all off or train them don't train them <laughs> well I don't wax them all off because I was about to be like I'm ahead of the trend because I think that's weird yeah yeah I, 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 I don't mind a little bit of a what do they call it soul patch or whatever but or a runway strip or whatever it doesn't matter what you mind I, I know it really doesn't I was like it doesn't matter <laughs> but um so anyway, you've got a list. I've got nothing. I couldn't yeah. find my notebook. I can't use my pens right now because I can't hold them. So my life is just kind of, I just kind of float along. I'm like a leaf in the tide now. <coughs> I do what I can and then that's about it. So So I try to, when I was writing a list, I try to categorize just to make it a little bit easier for myself because I thought, you know, what things make me feel warm and um, fuzzy. fuzzy. Um, so I did like... A vegetable, a... Oh, it's a vegetable that makes you feel warm and fuzzy. Well, I, I stretched it a little oh, bit. Oh, I see. A I food? Mean, yeah, a, a, a food that contains vegetables. <laughs> All right, well then what I'll do, is since I'm not prepared... Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I think I was prepared and then had the thing happen. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I can't find my list that I started. Yeah. So, um, so I'll just tack on to his list, I guess. Okay. So I, I thought I'd start off with um, an animal. An animal, we'll starting huh? with an animal. Okay. Um, and <laughs> I didn't bring it. Sorry. I'm, I'm gonna get really sentimental. Oh no. Um, but are you gonna it's, cry? It's my it's my daughter. That's you know. a, she is an animal. She's a wild one. <laughs> <laughs> so it's your daughter. So when you're feeling disappointed in humankind, you need a cuddle from your daughter. Yeah, it's like having I guess like having. A pet of any any kind. <laughs> um, Ooh, but look at the switchboard lining up with you. <laughs> that you called your daughter a pet. Um, um, but j th this pet answers you back. So. Sometimes. Yeah. Um, well, it's a bit tricky because it used to be when I was having a, a bad day, I would come in and Paul would just know. Yeah. Paul would just know the minute I hit the door, he'd be like, "Ooh," and he would just be there. But um, because he's not with us anymore um but he's a close second i guess yep. i think that's why i've always had pets is because you know sometimes if they're a decent pet well my witch kitty endora she knows yeah so like endora is always on it she she can tell if i'm needing a bit of a cuddle sometimes she wants a cuddle even when i'm not needing a cuddle uh so we've got go started. away go away go away and then i realize oh maybe i did need a cuddle so maybe she's programming me i don't really know but so she's pretty good so instead of your daughter 
which she's pretty cool too. I'll come around and get a cuddle from her sometimes. She was good today. Um, she, but I'll use my pets. So yeah, Betty, although she's so self-absorbed, Betty is not very as aware. So we'll say Endora. Okay. Used to be Paul. <laughs> Used to be Paul, but Endora now. Cats. I I, I don't. Uh, I've tried to be a cat person, and I was actually raised more with cats than anything else, but I'm, I'm just... That's probably why you can't be a cat person. Maybe. I'm not a cat person. I'm an Endora person. Yeah. But other cats, I'm just like, ah, get away from me. I have to admit, that's how I've been with my family's cats as well. Mm. We had a couple of really nice cats, and mm. other cats I just don't, I don't get. Endora's a cool cat. The rest of the cats, they're like your standard kind of cats. They yeah. Just don't, they don't do a lot for me. Mm. So what's that? What is on your um, list? So I've got vegetable, which, as I said, Lisa. Is it term. potato? No, it's um, my mum's my pumpkin soup. I'm making pumpkin soup tonight. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, yum. But I'm making a Thai pumpkin soup. I make it. Oh. Yeah. Well, mum mum used to do it with, um, she'd fry up bacon and put bacon in it. We and don't do the swine in my house. Yeah, no swine. No swine. Not after the flu. <laughs> you no, know, you know, before the swine flu, um... Which was why I was sick in like almost all episodes last year, because mm, I just H one in one. But uh, yeah, uh, but we don't do the swine. Yeah. But that's I can see how that would make it tasty. Yeah, um, and like sour cream, bit of sour cream in it as well. Oh, see that's mm. well, see that's kind of the draw for the Thai pumpkin soup because it's I always roast my pumpkin first just because I'm old school like that. Yeah. Um, roast your pumpkin. Did you use coconut cream and coriander and a bit of ginger? It's fucking good, man. Now, no, I know there's a lot of naysayers for cilantro, but um, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm really keen about on you it. Cilantro naysayers, because um, Mexican food uses a lot of cilantro. Yeah, yeah. And people have come over and been like, "Oh, that's so good. What is that?" And I'll be like, "No, you Australian, because the minute <laughs> I tell you, you're gonna be like, I don't like coriander. I can taste like soap. Yeah." <laughs> Because you assholes eat musk lollies and all kinds yep, of shit. And yep, I'm just perfume. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, cilantro is, is quite tasty if paired with the right things. Yep. And you don't have to use heaps of it. So like in my Thai pumpkin soup, I don't use much. Like I only use a little tiny bit. I just have to bring out the ginger and stuff. So. See, where I often make sandwiches and I'll replace lettuce in my sandwich with cilantro. Really? Yeah. Oh, he's diehard. He doesn't fuck around. Oh, no. No it's fucking good. around. <laughs> I love it. But, um, so, pumpkin soup, huh? I like... Oh, I don't know. Food-wise, there's so many. Like, a good banana bread. Like, a good warm banana bread. That reminds me of my childhood. My mom used to make banana bread. Or, mm. um, we don't really do pastas in my house. Although, that means that we did do a fettuccine last night. Um, but... I don't really have a food, I guess. Yeah. I also love me some banoffee pie. Yes, you do love banoffee pie. <laughs> um, banana bread is probably one of them. My mom used to make pumpkin bread, which is not something that Australians would be familiar with because it uses the big orange pumpkin. Okay. Yep. But when the big orange pumpkin is in season here, it's going into summer. Yeah. So it's not really the same, but she used to make pumpkin bread. And uh, even down to like the shape of the loaf is real kind of nostalgic because we used to get coffee in tin cans and so she would use the can she'd save the can and then put the batter in it so that all of our banana so I, the, growing up my banana bread and my pumpkin bread were always round the slices of it because they all they're always made in the coffee tins yeah yeah with heaps of real butter which for a long time like through the 80s and early 90s and up until just recently, a lot of people stopped using butter because they thought it was like, you know, the the death. I know. People would use like fake butter stuff, margarine. margarine. Yeah, which that's yeah. just a petrochemical. Whereas my mom used to always say, one day, one day they'll find out that all this margarine shit, it's going to be bad for you. And sure enough it is because it's a petrochemical, it's bad for you. Yeah. And she's like, I'll just stick to butter. See, so I used to hate butter when I was a kid because I actually thought butter was rendered fat. I didn't realize yeah, that it was that's ghee. Mm. Yeah, see, I I didn't realize that it was actually you know it's just um, um dairy product. 
It's yeah, like, it's the fats from the milk and the dairy. Yeah. I mean, like it separates it. Have you ever made butter? That'll be a cool activity for people to do at home with your children. Yeah. If you get like whole, like clotted cream or like unprocessed cream. Yeah, because we don't get, what do, what do you have in America? Whole milk or? Um, whole milk, you have whole milk here. Or butter, buttermilk or something like that. You can get buttermilk here. Okay. Ah. Buttermilk is just, um, and you can make it as well. Buttermilk is just regular milk and then you add a bit of vinegar to it yeah or a bit of lemon juice I think it works as well and it just separates your milk it's gross it's gross yeah but um but then you just take your cold cream or whatever bit of salt and then you put it in a container and then you and your kid just roll it back and forth like it obviously a round container excuse me just scratch me armpit oh. I've actually seen it <laughs> sorry just... I've actually seen that done on um, YouTube videos yeah, before. it separates and it makes butter and it's fucking good mm. it's easy it's easy easy peasy but anyway so yeah, butter. Butter is yum. Yep. I love it. Banana bread, pumpkin bread. Maybe we'll put the recipes up. Mmm. Why not? Pumpkin soup. I think everyone in Australia knows how to make pumpkin soup. Yeah. It's, it's a staple. It's well, a staple. it should be anyway. It's easy. It's just pumpkin milk. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> well, what else you got, handsome? So I did animal and vegetable. So naturally I was going to do mineral and I wasn't too sure how this stood as mineral. So I changed it to inanimate object. Inanimate object. Okay. Um, so I have my blue bear. Blue bear. Now I, I thought, I don't know how that stands because that's it's made creepy. of wool and cotton. So I'm not sure if that really counts it's as It's not mineral. really a mineral, but that's yeah. okay. So, yeah. I used to have a, um, well, how long have you had blue bear? I've had him ever since I was one. One years old? Yeah. Um, I have fuzzy, mm -hmm. which is a big giant teddy bear that I had when I was a kid. But I think that's in storage in America now. Yeah. I'd have to ask Robin. I think we saw Fuzzy when we were packing up the storage unit in the States last time we were there to prep us for the move back to America, which may or may not ever happen. Um, but, and then for years I used a werewolf that a friend of mine, Joe, gave to me. Mm -hmm. But then he did some shanky stuff. So I was like, this, t this werewolf doesn't really have the same kind of vibe as it used to because yeah. it was a toy from when he was a kid. But I did know that when I moved to Australia, um, I brought this with me, which it's funny because like um, Australians aren't as quilty as Americans are. No. Because it's a big thing, yeah. quilts in the States, especially in the South. Um, so my great, if I remember correctly, great, 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 so three greats, grandmother, made this quilt because my great-grandmother settled the area that my dad's family lives on. She came over on a covered wagon, like true, like settled it, proper styles, Wild West styles. But these are all flower bags. And these are just the pieces that are left over after dresses were made out of them. Oh. So these are just the scraps from flour bags and rice bags. Probably not rice, let's be honest. <laughs> flour and porridge and stuff like that. That used to come in big fabric bags yeah. back then when you settled things in covered wagons. And so they would use them to make dresses and then the little bits that were left over they would use to make quilts. So we have some quilts kicking around in our family that are hundreds of years old. And this is one that I have. And like, see that, that bag, it must have been a thinner bag. Yeah. Because that fabric's all deteriorated. But isn't that weird? Like you look at how things, like seeing that fabric. Your family's in... so gypsy. <laughs> we are that super is gypsy. Amazing. So this is super old. Um, and yeah, and see how some of the fabrics, like I was just saying to Ziggy, some of the fabrics didn't, didn't last. Mm. They just deteriorated. And some of the other ones have held up for longer. But yeah, so this is my cubby wubby. Like, who even knows what that stain was? Because it gets washed all the time. Yeah. Although now we have officially retired this blanket. And we have a thing that we, we have on the wall that this is going to hang on. because That's To keep it in. Yeah, it's falling yeah. apart. And yeah. like, I just thought, mm, if this old blanket falls apart, falls apart, then I'll be devastated. But yeah. And I even know how to quilt. Like my family, my grandmother taught me how to quilt. Yep. Because it's, you know, when it gets cold, but you can't even get flower bags anymore. Didn't, oh, you, didn't you have an idea of turning um, like t-shirts or something into a... Yeah, I have two quilts worth of band t-shirts from shows that I've seen and bands that I've loved. And we have another one from, from Roller Derby. Yeah. Like Roller Derby t-shirts and stuff like that. So we thought we only had enough for one quilt, but we laid them all out the other night and I was like, shit, that's like two big old quilts. So yeah, I should probably start stitching that shit together. Um, so then I started going to, down the track of um, um, more 
technology type things and yeah. media type things. So media, so like movies, music, yeah, video so, game, something like that. Cool. So I've yeah, gone I dig it. for me. I've gone for like a, a TV show, which always it's going to make... be something weird. It's going to be no. something weird. It's going to be some kind of kids show. No. Oh no. What is it? Fucking Brady Bunch. It's a story of a man named Brady. It, huh. it, every time I watch the Brady Bunch, Brady it melts Bunch. me. Really? Do you have a little cry? Yeah. A Brady Bunch? Yeah. <laughs> you know, Mr. Brady died of AIDS. Yeah, I know. So crazy. So sad. Not because, not, not, I mean, just, just in general. Um, well, we all know that Miss, Miss Piggy, we yeah. all know she's my hero. So, typically I'll watch something like Muppets Take Manhattan oh, or, you yeah. know, a Muppets movie. But it, it, not just Muppets, but pretty much anything Jim Henson. I think he, he was like mm. a god to me. Jim Henson, Muppets, not puppets, but Muppets, which there's a difference. Yes, there is. Um, yep. And maybe we'll go into that some other day. But anyways, Muppets are just phenomenal. So you look at like Labyrinth, The Dark Crystal, mm. um, this, that genre of movie. And then more, more recently, you've got like Farscape, was it? I'm pretty sure it was Farscape. I'm just going to double check that, which was, um... Is that, was that Muppets? That wasn't Jim Henson. It was Jim Henson. Um... Shut the fuck he up. He did all of... Australian American Science Fiction Television Series. No. Yeah, he did all the puppets in, um, Farscape. No, he didn't. Yeah. It's an Australian thing. Oh. Farscape, Jim Henson. Just because you Googled it doesn't mean it happened. The uh, Jim Henson Company, company was responsible for the various aliens makeup and blah blah blah. So they so So they did the makeup. They did the makeup and there's also um Oh is it like lots prosthetic of, makeup? Yeah, but there was also lots of puppets in Farscape as well. He's not a puppet, but Yeah, um, I was like you're pointing at someone that's clearly a human with makeup on. That guy looks good. But a lot of the aliens were um were Muppets. Were were Muppets. <gasps> I guess I'll have to start watching Farscape then. Um, is it on? Is it on Netflix as Stan? I, I have no idea. Ha! Huh, interesting. Um, Sci-fi and puppets. I'm on it. So yeah, anything like that, I'll watch. Or Pee Wee's Playhouse. Yeah, yeah. Because it's just in. Listen, you Pee Wee naysayers. Let me say something. He was not. I don't even want to know if that was a pub. Gross. Shouldn't have touched it. It's probably a whisker. It's disgusting. <laughs> um. Pee-wee was embusted being some kind of pedophile or something like that. There's this weird conception that Pee-wee um, was a, a pedo, a rock spider, and he wasn't. Yeah. He just got busted in an adult movie theater watching an adult movie. Why was that a plainclothes cops there in the adult movie theater? That's all I'm saying. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so those of you out there that think that Pee-wee Herman was, the, or Paul Rubens, which is the creator and person that plays Pee-wee, um that think that he's like some rock spider. He's not. He just en enjoys a bit of s sex on film. Oh. I always used to get Paul Rubens mistaken with Bobcat um, Goldthwait. Goldthwait. Really? Is he always. alive? I, I'm not too sure. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, he's alive. Yeah. I love Bobcat Goldthwait. I always thought he was... So he looks really handsome there in that hat. That one? Yeah. yeah, he's a handsome guy. Um, but I think it's the the similarities in the there voice. There are none. There's none in the, in the voice. You don't think there's no none. I just think it sounds really much the similar. Yeah. They don't sound anything alike. Oh, oh, that that you. sounds like Bobcat Goldthwait, but yeah, that's yeah. Not <laughs> Pee Wee Herman. I feel like you should listen to Pee Wee. Herman. <coughs> like you should look him up after this and be like, uh, oh, because that's not what Bobcat Goldthwait sounds like. Uh, yeah, I just thought he had a fat period. Pee-wee Herman yeah, I, I had a fat period. Yeah, and he became um, Bobcat Goldthwait. You're an idiot. <laughs> no, that's not true. But anyway, what else you got? Um, so then I've got um, music. Mm. Um, Queen. Queen oh, always. Queen's a good one. Yeah. Uh, in my, it's funny because in my household, um, I tend to be the... So first of all, I feel like I just kind of glazed over that. Sorry. Queen is the greatest rock band of all time. Yeah, yeah. Period, hands down, greatest rock band of all time. Did you know that he was of Indian descent? No, I didn't, but does not yeah, surprise Freddie me. Yeah, Freddie Mercury, I was... What was I watching? Something... I'm not going to re remember now. Uh, who knows? I was watching something with a guy in it that is a gay identifying of Indian descent. 
and I can't fucking for the life of me remember who it was. Shit. Oh, well, anyway, it doesn't matter. But he was saying that he always really identified with Freddie Mercury because Freddie Mercury was gay and in, yeah. of, of Indian descent. So, yeah, Queen, greatest rock band of all time. All yeah, time. And definitely. I dare you to think of somebody that's better. Mm. Please do. Because, seriously, Queen, greatest rock band of all time. Definitely. Yeah. You know, but um, but in my household, I tend to be one of the only, well, the only person. There's only, up until recently, there was only two of us. Now we have a third, but we're not going public with that yet. <laughs> um... Well, that sounded pineapple as fuck, didn't it? <laughs> she's joining. I'm not. We're joined. recruiting. She's joining. No, no, no. I don't mean that. I just mean we have a, a third member of the household, and, and that is of the human species. Um, but we're not going too public with that yet, um, out of respect to that person. So, yeah. Um, just because we're kind of harboring a fugitive. Hoy! <laughs> not really. It's just it's their story, not our story to tell. Um, but, uh, I'm the only person that listens to the kind of music I listen to. Like, every time we, every time I come into the studio to film, um, I'm like, hey Ziggy, why don't you listen to this song? And I'm yeah. always, like, making him listen to new stuff. And for the most part, you've liked all of them, haven't you? I don't, actually, I can't think of anyone that I haven't Well, you did liked. say today that the Against Me song, uh, you, yeah. you did have to warm up to, but that was expected because it was a different version of that actual song. Yeah. Um... But yeah, so no one really well, listens. Alabama shakes I really fucking love. Oh, mate, I could live the rest of my life without hearing any more Alabama shakes. Oh, really? <laughs> any more of, um, uh, what's that guy? Leon. What's the guy that Robin's been cranking like crazy? Oh. I've gone totally blank. Jo what's his last name? G uh. Is it Leon Bridges? Is that his name? Uh, no, 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 I don't think it's Leon Bridges. I think it is. Just bear with us, this might get edited out now that we're both like, mmm. Coming home, beyond. Yeah, that's him, that's him, Leon Bridges. Okay. I could live the rest of my life without hearing any more of Alabama Shakes, Leon Bridges. I'm getting kind of burnt out on all the shaky graves as well, I'm not going to lie. Oh, really? Yeah. Robin's really just been pumping them lately. But anyway, but I'm the only person that listens to, like, Against Me and, um, you know, all of that kind of stuff. The yeah. stuff that I've been playing for you old kind of like what would you call that punk screamo crust kind of stuff yeah so every now and again when i get to have a bit of a list even old no effects like i, I just that when i need to feel more like when i need to recenter with who i am and what's important to me that i need to just i need to blare my music and it's usually some against me which against me i have to be honest wasn't really my flavor for a long time just Everybody watch how difficult it is for me to put my glasses on. Um, now that my hands don't work. Um, but a friend of mine started dating this guy in like, I don't know, 2001 or some shit like that. I don't know if here. 2005. So it would have been 2004. So a friend of mine started dating this dude who came around and he listened to a lot of Against Me. And so that just got pumped. Yeah. Non stop in our household. And I was like, this is my house. <laughs> but secretly... I started listening to Against Me, and that was before the lead singer transitioned to become Laura Grace, Laura Jane Grace, um, which is just fucking super cool, man. So everything you get about Against Me, I've, I've always loved, ever since then. But before that, I was even more into, like, no effects and, um, like, a bit more hard, hardcore, like, punk punk. No effects isn't really hardcore, but anyway, so that kind of music. That's mm. the stuff. <sighs> Oh, my nose is so itchy. <laughs> I'm out of the words. I'm out of words. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess it's time to, to finish up our episode then, isn't it? Yeah, sure. Why not? Sure. Um, listen. Listen. Look. Listen. Look at me gesturing with this hand like it does anything. <laughs> look. Listen. <laughs> um, we promised that we would start doing reenactments. And we're going to. We're, yep. we're going to do it. But this year, man, this fucking year. Yeah. It's just <laughs> right. um, but we're going to because we have the list. And we've been drawing things yep. out of the thing and stuff. We should start filming. Right? We're filming earlier this week, though. We are. We are starting to kick that in the butt. So we'll start doing rehab next week. Next week. Next week. Or, 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 or possibly the week after, should we decide that we've got extra time this week and quickly film another one. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> well, that made things complicated. Now I'm confused. I don't um, know what we're doing. So in the next couple of weeks, we'll, we'll have some reenactments. Sure. <laughs> yep. Oh, we're going back to me just being along for the ride. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs>
<laughs> the boss of nothing. <laughs> All right. Well, don't forget to yep. like, comment, subscribe, and share. Our future is at your totally useless, numb, and ineffective fingertips. Whoa, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and something about the FBL icon, I'm not going to go too long about that because I'll get the shame, shame, shame! I so. don't <laughs> yeah, that's gone. I took it back inside. <laughs> Shame! Shame! Anyway, hit the bell, whatever. Yeah, hit the bell icon, it's at the top of the page, and keep up to date with everything that's going on. But we should be here every week now, or hopefully near on. Is I don't that, know where is it is, is it on that side? I don't know. Outside, but it's an overlay, so they won't notice anyway. We'll be here. <laughs> Alright, and yeah, we will see you all next week. Yes. Yes. Bye! <laughs> Bye.